Marvel Comics is home to Earth's mightiest heroes, but which hero is the best? We looked at their entire roster to decide who is the most noble, who has the finest stories of self-sacrifice, and who looks the best in spandex. So here's IGN's list of the top 25 Marvel superheroes. The most recently created Marvel hero on this list is also the first to ever use the F word. Jessica Jones is a superhero turned private investigator, preferring to use her smarts instead of her powers of super strength, flight, and increased durability. Blade's heroism is clear when you consider that he's chosen to protect humanity when he could just as easily rule them with the vampires. Forever fighting his cravings for human blood, Blade has embraced his humanity, using his gifts to rid the world of things that go bump in the night. Johnny Blaze harnesses the spirit of vengeance, which he uses to fight supernatural threats and thugs unlucky enough to commit a crime when he's around. Blaze represents selfless sacrifice, willingly accepting his curse in hopes of curing his father's ailments. It didn't really work out, but hey, now he's a superhero. An officer of the United States Air Force, Carol Danvers got her flight and super strength powers from an alien Kree device. Though her past is full of traumatic events, Captain Marvel continues to be a positive force, her unshakable conviction and awesome mohawk earning her mad props from heroes everywhere. Luke Cage first used his powers of increased strength and indestructible skin to make money as one half of Heroes for Hire. Eventually, he turned over a new leaf, fighting for justice instead of money as the leader of the new Avengers and the Thunderbolts. Though she shares Spider-Man's fondness for red pajamas, Jessica Drew couldn't be more different, and not just because she has a Venom Blast ability instead of web shooters. Initially trained as an assassin by Hydra, Spider-Woman would renounce her allegiance, turn hero, and become one of the most valued members of the Avengers. Silver Surfer gained a sense of humanity when the Fantastic Four heroically stood up to him, which inspired him to turn on his master, Galactus. He since dedicated himself to using the awesome Power Cosmic to fight injustice, all while riding that sweet Silver Surfboard. One of the founding members of the X-Men, Beast accidentally transformed himself into a furry blue Catman when trying to cure his mutation. Irony, right? Capable of quoting Shakespeare and clawing enemies to shreds, Beast is as formidable a scholar as he is a fighter. The sole member of the Fantastic Four to get a not-so-fantastic makeover along with his powers, the Thing used to be a gruff and sad character. Yet over time, he became one of the most sincere and downright funniest of all the heroes. But he's always ready to throw down when it's clobbering time. Kitty Pride is both a proven member of the X-Men and a gifted teacher. Her most heroic moment came when a giant space bullet was fired at Earth. She used her powers to permanently fuse with it, allowing it to phase harmlessly through the planet, sacrificing herself so the Earth could live. An arrogant surgeon humbled by his quest to heal his injured hands, Stephen Strange became the world's foremost authority on all things supernatural. As the Sorcerer Supreme, he's often seen teaming up with other heroes, banishing demons, and saying things like, by the hoary hosts of Haga, whatever that means. As a man, T'Challa is the king of Wakanda, and as the superhero Black Panther, he gets his powers from being the king of the dead. On top of being a peerless tactician and a bona fide genius, he's a force to be reckoned with in hand-to-hand -hand combat probably because he has really sharp claws. Doctor Doom himself said that the Invisible Woman is the most powerful member of the Fantastic Four, and he was right in more than one way. We've yet to see the limits of her force field powers, but beyond her abilities, she's the heart, soul, and mom of the group. Keeping the Earth safe is a full-time job, and there's no one better equipped than Nick Fury. Though most popularly known as the Director of S.H.I.E.L.D., his long career as a spy would make James Bond look like an amateur. One of the most powerful mutants in the world, Storm has a commanding presence on the X-Men, both as a leader and a teacher. Being a former thief, a former goddess, and a former queen, she has a wide following, using her abilities as an inspiration to those in need of hope. Tony Stark may be a genius billionaire playboy philanthropist, but as Iron Man, he shows his heroism by taking on various bad guys with actual superpowers. A brush with death led to the creation of his first armor, and since then, he has used his vast wealth to fund the Avengers and give himself, like, a billion upgrades. While far from having a spotless record, Iron Man always uses his intellect and his repulsor rays to make the world a better place. Professor Charles Xavier could have used his telepathic powers to forcibly make the world change their minds and accept mutants. But instead, he fostered the idea of peaceful human-mutant coexistence and founded the X-Men to protect the world from evil. If Hulk is the strongest one there is, we're lucky he's on our side. The result of a Gamma Bomb test gone wrong, Hulk has long been the target of many evil plots looking to exploit his power. Yet no matter how many times he's attacked by the US government or shot into space by his fellow heroes, he's always ready and willing to defend the planet at a moment's notice with smashing. The original leader of the X-Men, Scott Summers is known as much for his serious attitude as he is his powerful optic blasts. While he may not be as interesting as his more colorful counterparts, his skills as a tactician are equal to none. Recent events have seen Cyclops fall from grace. But even when taking that into consideration, it's undeniable that he's always put the survival of the mutant race before anything else. There's no questioning Thor's place among the elite pantheon of Marvel heroes. The son of Odin and heir to Asgard, 
He has long been a champion of a downtrodden, whether he's smashing frost giants in Jotunheim or battling alongside the Avengers. Possessor of the mighty Mjolnir, a magic hammer of devastating power, Thor's remarkable strength is outshone only by his unwavering belief in humanity. One of the founding members of the X-Men, Jean Grey has the power to control objects and read people's minds. She dedicated herself to achieving Professor Xavier's dream, but the Dark Phoenix Saga turned her into an evil entity responsible for taking billions of lives. After regaining control of herself, she committed suicide, choosing to die as a human rather than live as a god. Yeah, she eventually came back, but come on, that's heroism, people. Wolverine is the haunted samurai of Marvel heroes. His scrappy attitude and animal instincts have made him a fan favorite. With a healing factor and an unbreakable adamantium skeleton, he's never afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the villain of the day, and then stab them. A chemical accident blinded Matt Murdock, but enhanced his other senses, allowing him to see the world with a new radar vision. After his father was murdered for not throwing a fight, Matt became a crime-opposing lawyer by day and a crime-punching red ninja by night. What makes Daredevil such a great hero is that he's a man without fear. He sees danger all around him with his super senses, yet he barrels into it head first with a smile on his face. Though he may fight wearing the red, white, and blue of America, Steve Rogers would stand up for anybody in need of a hero. He socked Hitler in the jaw, stopped the Red Skull's plans, and even stood up to Iron Man's Superhero Registration Act during the Marvel Civil War. His greatest attribute isn't how he can throw his shield just right so it always returns to sender, although that is pretty cool, but his ability to inspire others to always do the right thing. The culmination of nearly every superhero that came before him, Spider-Man is the hero of heroes. He's got fun and cool powers, but not on the godlike level of Thor. He's just a normal guy with girlfriend problems and money issues, so he's more relatable than playboy billionaire Iron Man. And he's an awkward teenager, not a wizened adult like Captain America. Not too hot and not too cold, Spider-Man is just right. All of that contributes to why we love him so much, but it goes deeper than that. His tragic origin story saw his Uncle Ben die after getting shot by a mugger that he had the power to stop, leaving him with his most important lesson. With great power comes great responsibility. Those words have gone on to inspire Spidey to be a selfless protector of New York City, using his webs and a well-timed quip to take down psychos like Carnage and mad geniuses like Dr. Octopus. And that is why Spider-Man is Marvel's greatest hero.